Hi everybody, Paul here. I want to show you the most common cause of household electrical problems and it has to do with switches and outlets. Before I go any further, if you're going to work on a switch or outlet that's already connected to a breaker panel, make sure you first turn off the appropriate breaker. Once the breaker is turned off, check to make sure that there's no voltage at the switch or outlet by using a digital multimeter. I'll place the selector switch at 600 AC volts. Take your digital multimeter and place one probe on the black wire side connection and place the other probe on the white wire side connection. It does not matter which color probe you use on which side. As you can see, there's no voltage, so now I know for sure that it's safe to work on. When it comes to a switch or an outlet, attaching the wires to the side screws is where the problems occur. If not enough insulation is removed from the wire, then once the end of the wire is made into a half circle and placed around the screw, the wire will not make full contact with the screw once it's fastened down. This is because of having insulation between the wire and the screw, which will lead to arcing and overheating. Eventually it will fail and won't work. Here's an example of a correctly installed wire to the side screw of an outlet. As you can see, the proper amount of insulation was removed from the wire, allowing full contact with the wire and the screw with it fastened down. To avoid this problem, Always make sure to remove enough insulation from the wire. You may even have a strip gauge on the back of the switch or outlet like you see here. Simply slide the wire into the strip gauge until it stops and remove the insulation at the outer edge of the receptacle. As you can see, the proper amount of insulation has now been removed. Now twist the exposed wire into a half circle. I really like the results that I get using these round nose pliers for twisting the end of the wire. I'll post in the description where I bought these. Now place the wire around the screw with the end of the wire facing to the right. This way when it's fastened down, it'll pull the end of the wire in the same clockwise rotation direction as the screw. I hope you found this helpful. And if you like this video, please hit the like button below, share it with your friends, and please be sure to subscribe. God bless you and have a great day. Bye for now. Okay, Sparky. Wait. <laughs>